This is Flint Farmer, 57 years old, from Kokomo, Indiana. He was charged in the summer of this year for the murder of beautiful Karina McClurkin, who was 18 years old at the time of her disappearance in 2016. It took all this time from 2016 to this year of 2022 for her remains to be found, which were skeletal by this point, but identified as Karina by the coroner, and for Flint to be arrested and charged for Karina's death. There seems to be a network in this area of Indiana and whatever information after all these years of rumours of Flint murdering Karina whatever information was shared this year to actually locate Karina's remains and to arrest Flint Is it a coincidence that it happened to be July of this year, 2022? Is someone talking? Are there people rubbing shoulders closer than others in this network and certain people tied to different paedophilia, different murder, different substance misuse arenas. Now, the fact of the matter is, you can make a good assumption on this, that he being 57 years old now, he was still in his 50s when he met Karina, who was 18 years old. Even though classed as an adult, she was still a young person. So you can see that there was some darker undertone with his attraction or connection with Karina. Karina had been starting to hang out with older people. Which again, who are all these older people? What connections are they? What connection does Kokomo have with other perpetrators that names may be bouncing around in particular murders or paedophilia there are so many questions about the evil that is running as an undercurrent in Indiana and through exposure and layers being picked And the tangled web being untangled, we may see further into this evil. And there has been threatening phone calls whilst Flint has been in prison about shut your mouth. And he's been also telling people to shut their mouths too. So who are these wider networks? We We'll soon find out because I believe there's more and more dominoes going to keep on falling this year and onwards. I'm also looking into a lot of feedback that I've been given by viewers of other strange and unusual happenings in this area. Together we may uncover and unpick a lot more darkness. That's an undertone in Indiana.